Well, the little boy from New Hampshire who inspired a superhero has something else to be proud about. Marvel has published his new comic book and sent it out to schools to teach children about hearing loss. Our Gene Mackin catches up with the superhero at home in Salem. Blue Ear finally has his comic, and here it is. And, you know, it's. Dun, dun, dun. Six year old Anthony has reached superhero status on the pages of a new Marvel comic book modeled after him. You are the original Blue Ear. Yes, I am. How does that feel? Good. This epic story starts a year and a half ago when Anthony didn't want to wear his hearing aid, which he calls Blue Ear, because he said superheroes don't wear them. His mother turned to the heroes at Marvel Comics. They drew up Blue Ear, the crime fighter with hearing aids. And now the comic book is out. Marvel teamed up with the Children's Hearing Institute to publish 150,000 copies of sound effects. The action packed story about hearing loss and bullying is being distributed in New York. York City schools, along with a teaching guide. This is my favorite page. Blue Ear even has a sidekick with cochlear implants. We're overjoyed that Blue Ear's found his home in a comic, but more importantly, it's the com it's the content. And they introduced a new character, Safira. We think she's phenomenal. She teams up with Blue Ear and they help Iron Man out. The response is loud and clear. Schools from around the globe want copies of the new comic book. We'd love to see a copy of Sound Effects in every child's hands that has hearing loss. And another adventure awaits Anthony, surgery for a new implant to provide better hearing. Blue Ear is ready to tackle his next challenge. Are you a superhero? Yeah. In Salem, Gene Mackin, WMUR News 9.